no idea how long you've been planning this journey. 3D. If only you could remember. You see, being in your mum's womb, you're doing a lot more than you may think. So you're doing a backflip over and over again, well, because you've got that memory, that muscle memory, that muscle memory then attaches itself to an emotional memory and that emotional memory attaches itself to its external environment. And because of that, every time you do a backflip, you can remember that memory, it triggers it. Well, as you're developing in your mum's womb, and I only know this because I managed to trigger my memories, my genetic memory, you're actually thinking differently as to how you're thinking today. Literally. Your consciousness, because your brain isn't fully developed, your consciousness resides in different areas of your body and because of this, the only way to trigger these memories is to drop your consciousness back to those areas of the body. And then you'll start to remember why it is your consciousness was there in the first place. And it takes. You have to see it to believe it. So this genetic memory. Obviously when you move in a certain position where your muscles can trigger a response. It triggers memory within your nerve cells which then cause the user of the body to remember an action. And it's the same with the emotional body when it comes to emotions. When you trigger an emotion, it triggers memories that are related towards that emotion that have been triggered. But what I ended up stumbling upon was... <laughs> okay, imagine if you will, seeing your past, seeing how your past was put together, seeing how your actions within the past created certain events and end results, how you talk to people, the way you dressed, everything. Even where you was located, the house, the flat, that presented challenges for you to overcome, all within your past. Remember that, and a lot of you have probably gone through that. Now imagine being in a state where you've never been born before. And rather than that all being in the past, it's in the future. And you're able to choose your mindsets. And you're able to self-prophesize, predict your future outcomes. And you start shifting your patterns of awareness deliberately. And there's a strange magic to this. When you're inside your mother's womb, where you're able to tap into that manifestation part of your creator being to the point where you literally manifest and create your circumstances and your events before you even come into this world. I only realize this because I have my memory, my genetic memory of a time where I dropped my consciousness from this flat up here and I moved downstairs. And at first I moved into the throat and I started getting all these memories where I could have spoken my truth but I didn't and my throat locked up. It, it felt like I had a, an apple in my throat. And then I dropped into my heart and there was a lot of work to do in my heart, a lot of confused heartbreak which I had to see. And to drop into that consciousness and be nothing but that state of being that you become when your awareness moves to your heart space, then you start to look at the situations differently. I'm sure you've all heard of the saying, listen to your head, not your heart. There's a reason for that. It's because your heart does think differently from this spatial awareness up here. But by dropping down there, you're able to see the events, your memories start coming up. And as they come up, you see them differently from this heart place perspective. And by doing so, you're able to see the circumstances differently to the point where it no longer affects you emotionally because you no longer see them the same way. You know, all these little things that your consciousness can pick up on once you operate from a certain place in your body, once you're seeing the world from a different type of perspective, okay? And then I moved into the solar plexus chakra, or that spatial awareness just below the sternum. And then by doing so, that is when my memories were triggered, where I was inside this space. And being in this space, Obviously it was pitch black and the temperature never changed. 
I can remember the temperature. I can remember not being able to move my arms fully because they were locked in a certain position. It wasn't uncomfortable, it was just... I just felt like jelly, in a sense. And whilst I was there, I couldn't see anything, but it was okay. Because what I was using to see was my pineal gland, the third eye. And then by doing so, that is where I began to create. And the funny thing was, is when I was creating my life before I was born, knowing the laws, the five pillars of manifestation and how to manifest certain things within my life in order to get me from this conscious state inside my mom's womb to this unconscious state and then to the conscious state again, the cycle of awakening. I already had memories and the skill slash know-how as to how to do this from where I came from before I was human. And then as I was born, that last couple of months of development, that is when my memory started to fade of where I came from, but more so how I'm manifesting things. And then as I was born into this world, growing up, I started to forget my manifestation skills. And so I started the cycle, the journey of awake to asleep to awake again. But let's get you guys doing it. You know, I can sit here all day and talk about how I'm dropping into my consciousness and activating all these memories and able to manifest on these different levels of consciousness, of planes of existence. You take one plane of manifestation out of the bunch, it takes longer to manifest, if it manifests at all. But let's go through your memories. Okay, so what I want you to do is I want you to sit on your chair, chin tucked in a little bit, in a dimly lit room, black room if you can with some candles, put your hands down on your lap. And I want you to remember, okay, I want you to remember what it's like to speak to someone but not speak to someone. Wanting to say something, express a certain emotion but not being able to do it for the simple reason that you're getting choked up, the apple in your throat. We've all been there. Now whilst you're there, I want you to notice the feelings within that glandular system, within that throat spatial awareness. And I want you to focus on it so much to the point where the memories start flooding back to the point where it's literally as if you're in those memories back in first person and you can feel the emotion that comes with it and the entire mindset you was in that allowed you to speak and to create that situation of wanting to speak your truth but not doing so. This whole exercise right now is designed in order to get your consciousness from this space up here and moving downstairs into this space. Sit in that space for about 15 to 20 minutes, and then the meditation's done. But as you slowly open your eyes, you have to focus on the feeling and the perception, the awareness that you've gained while sitting in this space, okay? And then you slowly open your eyes, after which lay down. If you use pillows to fall asleep, take away the pillows just in case you fall asleep. And then what you wanna do, you wanna use passion, like, when I make these videos, when I'm doing the things that I'm doing towards my goal, okay, towards my life purpose, I always feel an urge, a drive to move in this vehicle and just to act. Okay, now, whenever you've had that drive feeling to do something, really do something with all your will, and right now as I'm speaking about it, it's like someone's just lit up a furnace right here in my sternum. And it's actually making me want to start creating and doing more contributing more action towards my life purpose. That drive is coming from the solar plexus chakra, okay? That feeling needs to engulf your entire body. If you've ever done yoga and you've noticed that when you relax a certain part of your body, the muscles surrounding that part that you just relaxed, relax as well. They take on the same form. This is what we're doing here, okay? We're gonna activate your solar plexus, okay? That spatial awareness point just below your sternum where that energy is coming from, where that drive's coming from, and it's gonna engulf your entire body. So you lay down with no pillows. Then you close your eyes, and I want you to start remembering times where you've had that driving force within your life, that motivation to do something. But then as you start remembering these memories, I want you to pay attention to how your body feels. And when that part of your body starts to light up, when it feels like you can't even lay there anymore because you want to get up and start acting, that is when I want you to drop your consciousness into that space. If the memories come up, let them come up. 
just make sure that you feel that emotion so much it literally feels as if you're moving from this flat up here and down into the fourth floor okay this place right here the solar plexus when you do that you need to learn how to sit in that space and just feel it rather than relying on the memories don't block the memories just don't rely on those memories in order to locate your consciousness to that space when you get to that point of progression that is when your memories of childhood will come up because that is when you'll start to pierce the center of that spatial awareness point and you'll start going back into the memories of drive and then you'll start to remember how it is that you started to manifest on this third dimensional realm and then when you remember that you can utilize that skill in the now to manifest now can you imagine that being sat here and seeing something happen in the future like i'm doing right now i can see how you're going to respond to this video because i'm tapping into that solar plexus chakra that spatial awareness point and it's like a constant preview i'm constantly able to see events before they happen that are related towards anything that i'm doing within my life within my journey my journey and that is why i can see this trail of events okay so try this out do it today if you can and I'll speak to you guys pretty soon.